Hello, my name is Dr. Terry Alford and I am the clinical director here at the Advanced Dental Cosmetic Center. This video is the first in a series of educational videos where you can gain enough knowledge to become an expert at whitening your teeth. We want you to understand that there are three factors in tooth whitening success and the very first is a well constructed and perfectly fitting tray similar to this one. In this video, you're going to see how a professional whitening tray is made here at the Advanced Dental Cosmetic Center. And you'll understand why it costs between $400 and $800 in most dental practices to perform this service. The second factor to tooth whitening success is the selection of the proper whitening agent and compound. We utilize Totally White Smile. I think it's the finest whitening gel in the world. And again, on this website, you can find out that information. The third is the selection and commitment to the proper wear schedule. Understand that sensitivity is the number one cause of a lack of compliance and success in tooth whitening. This website has several reading areas and a video on tooth sensitivity, so please take the time to look at it. Now, let's go take a look at our patient. She's free of periodontal disease and decay and she's ready to begin her whitening. Now let's see how a professional whitening tray is made and how this knowledge can help you make a tray nearly as good as the dentist. Thank you so much for watching. Here the patient has been seated and the trays are being tried into her mouth. The accuracy of the tray is very important. It needs to go past the teeth and into the gum areas without touching or pinching the gums. Here you can see that she is trying in the upper tray to be sure that the lips fall correctly and that the tray is extended sufficiently. The assistant now mixes the alginate. It's a very smooth material that takes an incredibly accurate impression. She loads the tray and ensures that there's not an excessive amount of material that could cause the patient to, uh, to gag and then seats the tray in the patient's mouth very gently depressing it in such a way so as to depress and move away the tongue and the lips. She holds this in position several minutes until the alginate impression sets and upon removing it examines the alginate impression to be sure there are no bubbles and that the accuracy of the impression incorporates all the areas around the neck of the teeth and the teeth themselves as well as the depth of the gums. Here shows the upper impression as well that shows outstanding accuracy. Once those are done then we go to the laboratory and mix stone. As you can see right here the stone is being mixed and vibrated on the vibrator to get the bubbles out. The impressions are placed on the vibrator so that it will flow very nicely as you place the stone into the the impression and molded model. And as you can see it's very very creamy looking and flows very nicely so that it incorporates all the anatomy and the accuracy of the impression. Once both trays are loaded then they're stacked like you see here giving a few moments of time so that the stone starts to set. Then we invert them and place them on the bench table and clean off the outside edges. After the stone sets, we separate the impression tray from the models and examine the trays uh, models to be sure that there are no bubbles and uh, aberrations that would create a problem with making the trays. If there are, those are cleaned up. Then at this particular point, we take them to the trimmer and we trim these models so that there's no excessive stone around the outside edges that will make it difficult to make the white tray. Then uh, we examine the models after we've trimmed them as we're doing here to remove any very minor aspects of bubbles or little imperfections around the gum line so that the accuracy of the vacuum form tray is such that it incorporates the necks of the teeth very nicely. This here is the Econovac machine and we have a heated unit here that heats the plastic uh, and uh, provides a very melted 
surface so that when it arrives at the right temperature it is uh, vacuum pressed onto the teeth as you see here. It takes a few seconds for it to uh, cool off so that it can be touched and then the assistant will check to make sure that all of the anatomy of the facial portions of the tooth and the inside fit nicely with this new plastic. As you can see there's a large plastic sheet there. Here are both models completely incorporated within the plastic and now we need to trim these plastic trays away from the models. We use a hot knife and stay well away from the neck of the tooth. We want to be able to trim the neck of the tooth with a pair of scissors very accurately so uh, the first application here is to just get the gross amount of the plastic off and as you can see that's being done with a hot knife. And now the upper tray as you can see here has been trimmed and you can see where it's burnt at the edge but it's well above the gum area. And then we take these trays and being as accurately as possible we trim these trays with scissors as you see here. Now with those trimming we can get very accurate by staying one to two millimeters from the neck of the tooth and in a moment you're going to see where we've actually purposely over trimmed one tray so that you can see what it's supposed to look like versus one that is absolutely correct. The upper tray here is over trimmed and it has an improper fit and contour and the lower tray is trimmed absolutely perfect.